I'm loud. I was born loud. Um, I get excited about things that I love. And I've always loved books. I love the stories. I love the sentences. I love the paper. I love the way that they smell. I love the variety of them. I love the people who are standing next to you when you shop for them. The fact that anytime somebody comes up with a problem in the world or something you don't understand, you can say, there's a book for that. The National Book Award has been around since 1950. And 68 years later, it's one of the most prestigious literary prizes and awards in the country. It places you alongside people like Flannery O'Connor and Ralph Ellison and some of our great authors. It was my first National Book Award when ta Coates won. And I remember being so grateful for his book and for his deeply thoughtful take on the United States that we actually live in. Even though we think of reading as something that we do alone, in our rooms, by ourselves, we talk about books and we take the ideas that we learn from books and the stories that we've heard about books, the characters that we've fallen in love with in books, and we bring them to our conversations. They make us more empathetic. They connect us to one another. They make people who are not like us more human. A child that picks up a book and learns to read and learns to love reading is the very beginning of a lifelong reader. The more that we make sure that our young people's literature reflects the reality and experience of the world that our young people are growing up in today, the more that kids are gonna think that books are relevant to them in their lives. That every once in a while you look at that cover and you see somebody that looks like you or that lives in a community like yours. I'm the first woman in this role, and I'm the first African-American woman in this role. And that's meant first and foremost that everyone who's ever interviewed me has asked me if I am the first woman and the first African-American woman and how it feels to do my job. It feels like everybody else's job does for them. It feels like I come to work every day and I work really hard. But on top of that, there's the obstacle of feeling different and feeling like it's really, truly important to work as hard as I can to make sure that the generation that comes after me and the generation that comes after that can go to work and do their jobs and feel like it's just a pedestrian, everyday, ordinary activity that getting up and going to work. My name is Lisa Lucas, and this is my brief but spectacular take on why books will always matter. <laughs>